Hello everybody, welcome back. Carl again. Today I want to talk about a battery voltage monitor that I made for my motorcycle. So my issue is I don't have an attached garage. So my motorcycle actually sits here in the trailer and my house sits over here to the left. So in the winter time here, uh, I live in Maryland for those that don't know, it gets quite cold and we tend not to ride the motorcycles too often in you know, November, December, January and February. We occasionally might get a fairly decent day we can get out but unfortunately, like to d tomorrow, they're actually calling for some snow. Not on my little unwritten rule, I don't ride the motorcycle in the snow. So I want to show you how I went about tackling the problem of monitoring my voltage on the motorcycle, even though I can't physically see it. Okay, so here you can see the, the transceiver. So let me just briefly explain how this works. This black cable here is running from the battery tender, which plugs into the wall, and that goes into the input. Inside of the box, which we'll take a look at in a second, is an Arduino, along with an NRF 24L01 wireless module. You can see I have the high power antenna version, so it actually gives me pretty decent range. And then also in there is a little board with just two resistors that matter, monitor the battery voltage. So the other end of the plug comes out and actually plugs into the bike uh, just down here. That's the battery tender harness to the bike's battery. So essentially what I'm doing is tapping into the battery tender and then get in the specific voltage. The Arduino reads that and then sends it out to the LCD inside. So let's take a look at that. This is actually downstairs on top of my fish tank. This is the LCD display that actually shows the voltage. Okay, so let's take a look at the receiver now. Um, as you again, as you saw earlier, this is a 20 by 4 LCD screen. This is just a little metal housing that I bent up. Uh, it's nothing uh, super special about it. Also, this also has a high power antenna on it, so let's take that off. I found that here in while I'm in the basement, I needed a high power NRF 24L01 to get the, the distance I wanted. And in here, there's nothing super special. I just figured I'd show you. Uh, so this is a 20 by 4 LCD with an LCD backpack. There's an Arduino board right here as you can see and then again a digital pin converter that converts the six kind of odd pins on the 24L01 out to the antenna and that's pretty much it. Uh, at one point you'll see there's a hole I did have a um, potentiometer so I could control the backlight however I found now that I just run it a specific brightness and it's good enough for my purposes. The other reason why I like that is if for some reason the voltage drops low, it actually makes the LCD screen brighter so that it kind of grabs my attention. Okay, so just a quick recap. Um, this is the transceiver. So this actually takes the voltage from the battery, creates it to a read-in with the Arduino, and then sends it out to the LCD screen. So let's take a look at what's inside of this box. Now this box is merely, it was a plug for a printer. It had an uh, input here and an output there. And I simply just took all the guts out and using this for the enclosure. Okay, so now that we have it opened up, you can see I actually used the original two pin male plug and drilled a hole through it for my uh, cable. The other thing is uh, I bought this two way connector. So it's actually one whole unit. I didn't want to actually cut any of the battery tender circuit. There is a pretty decent warranty with that and if the unit ever fails I'd like to be able to send it back and get another one. So this is what I have. Um, this part here comes from the battery tender. It actually goes in and then I tap into with two resistors and a capacitor an analog pin on our Arduino. And that allows the Arduino to actually take a voltage reading from the battery. Uh, this diode here simply just powers the Arduino. Uh, I'm just basically using the diode really more as just a jumper so that I can get power from the battery into the Arduino. Now, the good thing is, is that when I disconnect it from the bike, the battery tender actually doesn't put voltage out until it sees voltage. So this unit actually turns off when it's unplugged. Kind of one little nicety. Um, the also, other thing you also see is I have a 20, uh, NRF 24L01, which is a, with a high power antenna, which is for the sending the data. And that's just on a little board here I created that plugs into the digital pins on this side. 
The other note is I used this specific uh, version of Arduino because it has a full size voltage regulator and I am going from about 13 or 14 volts down to 5 volts. So I figured it would be a, a decent amount of heat and I didn't want to use a small little Arduino type regulator. So that's really all that's in this little box is merely just two resistors and a capacitor and that's how it's actually monitoring the voltage. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Hey guys, hopefully this is helpful. I'll put a link to all the code for both Arduinos down in my down in the description here, which will take you to a Google website that I have, just so you can download the files. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them down below. Hey, if this was helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out a lot. And uh, thanks again. Till the next one.